guys, Nathan with Concord here. Just want to walk you through how we change the meter rollers on one of our conventional hydraulic driven carts. One of the first things that we do, disconnect the wire from the motor. Next, we're going to make sure that our slide gate is closed just in case there's still some product left in the tank and we'll want to catch that later. While we're back here, we're also going to just loosen this back bearing. It doesn't need to be removed, but it does often help if it's just loosened a little bit. Next, we want to pop the latches open. Try and catch as much of this product as we can. And we pull the gate out. Next, we're going to the bolts. Housing. Bring the end. Things slide off. Sometimes it's stubborn, sometimes it's not. There is a small key in here. Try not to lose him. We'll just set the motor to the side. Next, we want to remove the bearing that's on the front part of the shaft. to just pull the shaft straight out the front end. Tight grip on the meter. Just pull that straight out. Put in the high capacity roller. That one's got much deeper grooves. Pretty much universal. It works for wheat, soybeans, barley, fertilizer, Almost anything that we can run through this drill. Most of the time we're running the high capacity meter. We install the seal for the bearing. Tightened up, you reinstall the hydraulic motor. Make sure that the keyway lines up, slide it into place, and we'll put the bolts in through here. Now with the motor securely back in place, remember to reconnect the cable. There is an orientation notch that you can see there. Just make sure that he finds his groove when you put them back together. It's worth noting that pretty much anything on our carts that can come into contact with fertilizer is all made of stainless steel. The meter, the slide gate, the shaft, the housing, the tank itself, even the ladder that's inside the tank is all made of stainless steel to prevent corrosion. Now with the new meter in place, it's time to reinstall the door. Now with the door back in place, I like to give it a little extra rattle and a push up just to make sure that that bottom tray seats nicely against the meter. There you go. Calibrate and head to the field.